welcome back children to our interesting session of our science class i hope you are enjoying it well science is a subject that must be learnt with fun because we know we come to know everything in and around us whatever is happening and what is within us and what is around us so i hope you have studied this chapter on plants and animals well now let's recall this chapter now what we have studied is the characteristics of plants and animals so plants and animals need food to move and grow they move they can move animals and human beings can move you can see them moving and plants also move plants grow animals and human beings also grow so these are all living things that grow all living things breathe they feel they can reproduce so these are all the characteristics of plants and animals now you must also know that they are also interdependent plants are dependent on animals and animals instead depend on plants how do they do so well animals take in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide now the carbon dioxide that is breathed out by animals is taken in by plants because they need carbon dioxide to carry on their process of photosynthesis that is the plants make their own foods so what do the plants give out then they give out oxygen which is very essential for animals and human beings this cycle needs to be continued as it maintains the balance of our nature so the thing we learn is that we should plant more plants and stop hunting animals i hope this chapter is clear and we have also recalled so let's do with the exercises now there is a small oral questions given now it is to be done by you in a copy so you have to name some living and non living things around us so i hope you can see some living things around you you know what are living things that move and grow they are living things and you can also find some non living things like chair table your pencil your book your television also these are all non living things a robot can walk on their own is it a living or non living thing now you must decide it and write it in your copy now let's do with the next question the question says tick the correct option dash breathe through the tiny holes on their leaves now who breathes through the tiny holes on their leaves a animals b plants and c human it is plants the fish breathe through their a holes b gills c lungs the answer is the fish breathe through their gills next dash can prepare their own food a plants b animals c human beings who can prepare their own food it is plants 
all living things can move grow or both of them all living things can do both of them both a and b i hope it's clear now okay let's continue both plants and animals need we have to select from the hints given in the yellow block so both plants and animals need food we'll write f o o d food animals also dash pain and pleasure so animals also feel pain or pain or pleasure the dash turns towards the sun now in the chapter i told you that there's a flower that turns in the direction of the sun and it is named as sunflower yes so the next answer is the s u n f l o w e r sunflower next fish breathe through their gills the fishes breathe through their gills leaves of dash plant close when touched i told you there is a plant that reacts to your touch it shrinks its leaves so which is the name that is mimosa m i m o s a mimosa leaves of mimosa plant close when touched okay now we come to the next part write true or false against each statement now all plants and animals breathe in water is it true or false do all plants and animals breathe in water no it is a false statement right because some plants they breathe in water but plants breathe in on land and animals many animals live on land and some animals live in water so all plants and animals do not breathe in water next human beings reproduce by giving birth to their babies this is a true statement so it is a true statement trees are living things what do you think are trees living things how can you say that yes because they grow and they feel also they reproduce also so trees are living things it is true frogs it is not forks it is f r o g s it is frogs frogs give birth to their babies do frogs give birth to babies no they lay eggs so it is a false statement a plant produces seeds which grow into a new plant yes of course a plant produces seeds which grow into a new plant it is a true statement okay we'll continue 
with the next page. Now we have to give the answers in one word. What is called the things which have life in them? What are the things called? They are called as living things. L I V I N G Living T H I N G S Living things. What is called the change in animal's body? So when there is a change in the animal's body, what do you call? It is called growth. G R O W T H Growth. Which gas all animals do breathe out? So I told you animals breathe in oxygen and they breathe out carbon dioxide. So what do the animals breathe out? It is C-A-R-B-O-N carbon D-I-D-O-X-I-D-E oxide. It is Carbon dioxide is the gas which all animals breathe out. By which part of body fish breathe in water? So fishes also are living things. So they also breathe. So for, by which part of the body do they breathe in? They breathe in through their gills. What is a baby frog called? A baby frog is called a tadpole. T A D P O L E. Tadpole. I hope this chapter is clear to you all. So there are some question and answers below which you have to search in the chapter. So, find out the answers to all these questions from the book and write it in your copy. So, this is all for now. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.